So phenol is more reactive than benzene, and it is also more reactive than other activating groups. So uh, other with other benzene molecules with activating groups. So example, if we take methyl benzene. which is this phenol will be more reactive than this so even though we will need the catalyst for the chlorination of methyl benzene we will need the alcl3 catalyst we will not need the alcl3 catalyst for the uh, chlorination or bromination of uh, phenol because phenol is much more reactive than all of these compounds and it activates these positions to a large extent uh, even the CH3 group activates these positions, but not so much as the phenol group. So you should remember this, that phenol is a lot more reactive. And now we'll see the consequences of this, of it being so much more reactive on the reactions and reaction conditions. So we have some important reactions of phenol over here. So first up is phenol plus NaOH. Now before we do this, uh, if you remember, when, whenever we had a normal alcohol like CH3, CH2, OH, which is ethanol or ethanol, whatever you call it, CH3, CH2, OH, so we, whenever we reacted it with Na, which is sodium, we got fizzing what the observation we made was fizzing so we saw that we saw effervescence and uh, with, with it we saw the formation actually this will be 2 2 and 2 CH2 O negative Na plus so this was a phenoxide ion bonded to an Na plus ion uh, and uh, H2 was released so this was the reaction of sodium with phenol but there is no reaction of NaOH with phenol so with, sorry with uh, ethanol sorry uh, there is there, this is the reaction of Na with ethanol but there is no reaction of NaOH with eth ethanol so this means that uh, phenol is more reactive than ethanol and now we'll do we, we'll see what this reaction is I'm not going to erase this let me keep it like this so C6H5OH. Uh, yeah, we have to put two over here. Plus, um, okay, wait, just a second. I'm doing something wrong. So C6H5 over here plus NaOH because we are not doing Na, we are doing NaOH. NaOH gives us C6H5 C6H5 O negative Na plus my phenoxide ion bonded to the Na plus ion plus water H2O so um, as you can see this is a typical neutralization reaction uh, neutralization was when an acid reacts with an alkali to form a salt plus water so this is a neutralization reaction we have a salt which is sodium phenoxide and we have water so this also confirms the acidic properties of phenol that phenol reacts with NaOH but when, but now, now let's get back to ethanol. Does ethanol react with NaOH? No, it does not. It does not react with NaOH. It reacts with Na. And this confirms that ethanol does not have the acidic properties that phenol has. So even though ethanol slightly behaves as an acid when it reacts with sodium, it is not, it is so weak an acid, so weak an acid that it does not react with NaOH. 
so you need to remember this we will be doing this in the next video we will be doing uh, uh, when uh, we will be doing a comparison between the acidic properties of ethanol and phenol but I